Hello, we have a mass here which is experiencing a leftward gravitational pull. So if we want to move the mass rightward, we have to apply an external force that's equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Let's imagine that we manage to move the mass a tiny distance of delta x rightward. So has the mass gained or lost GPE? It has gained, right? Because the external force overcomes the gravitational pull to move you rightward. The external force has done positive work. As a result, the mass gained GPE. So we can write this down. I'm using U to represent GPE. So the increase in GPE is equal to the positive work done by the external force. Rearrange the equation. Since delta x is the tiny, tiny distance, we can write the external force is equal to du dx. But the external force is equal but opposite to the gravitational force, right? So the gravitational force must be equal to negative du dx. So this is the math. What is the physics then? Suppose we have a graph that shows you how your GPE varies at different positions. So the du dx part of this formula is telling you that at any position, the steepness of the graph tells you the magnitude of the gravitational force you experience at that point. What about the negative sign? It's telling you the direction of the gravitational force. So at this point, the direction of the gravitational force is leftward because that's the direction in which your GPE is decreasing. Because towards lower GPE is the direction of the gravitational force. Don't worry if you feel a bit lost now, I'll give you more examples. Now, do you recognize this graph? This is the plain old vanilla GPE, right? So why does your GPE increases with height? It's because the gravitational pull is in the opposite direction, right? The gravitational pull is pulling you towards h is equal to zero. That's why if you go in opposite direction to the gravitational pull, you gain GPE. And why is the gradient of this graph constant? It's because gravitational pull is constant. Remember MGH is for the GP uh, on Earth's surface, yeah? You can literally do the differentiation which gives you negative MG. So MG is the gravitational pull, isn't it? And the negative sign is telling you the direction of the gravitational pull is towards H is equal to zero. This concept works for any kind of potential energy. So do you recognize this one here? Elastic potential energy, right? So why does the elastic potential energy increases with extension? It's because the spring force is always acting in the negative direction, isn't it? The spring force is always trying to pull you towards extension of zero. It's when you go against the direction of the spring force that you gain EPE. And why does this graph become steeper and steeper? Ah, it's because the spring force increases with extension. You can do the differentiation directly. So when you differentiate half kx squared, what do you get? kx. And then stick the negative sign in front, yeah? So kx is a spring force, according to Hooke's law. And the negative sign is telling you that the spring force acts in the negative x direction, towards x goes to zero. And now what is this graph now? This is the GP of the rocket man at different uh, distances from the center of the Earth. So why does the rocket man gain GP as it goes further away from the Earth? It's because the Earth is pulling him in the negative R direction. So by going in the positive R direction, you gain GPE. And why does the graph become flatter and flatter? Ah, it's because the gravitational pull becomes weaker and weaker as you go further away from the Earth. If you differentiate this, what do you get? You get GMM over R square. And then remember, you've got to stick the negative sign in front here. So again, this shows you the gravitational pull. And the negative sign here, ensures that the direction is mathematically correct. Now this one is showing how the GP of the rocket man varies as he travels from the Earth to the Moon. Straight away, the most interesting point is the maximum point here. The GP gradient here is zero, isn't it? What does that tell you? That means the net gravitational pull at this point is zero. So this is the null point. This is the point where the Earth and the Moon's pulls are equally strong resulting in a net gravitational pull of zero. Between this point and this point, du dx is positive, which means fg is negative, which means the net gravitational pull is leftward. It makes sense because from here to here, the rocket man is gaining GP because he's going against the net gravitational pull. Between this point and this point, du dx is negative, which means fg is positive, which means the net gravitational pull is towards the moon. That's why your GPE is decreasing from here to here. Because instead of working against the gravitational pull, you are just letting yourself be pulled along by the gravitational force, which brings you to lower and lower GPE. As for the magnitude of the gravitational pull, yeah, just look at the steepness of the graph. That's all. Ta-ta!